Welcome to the Heidi Thorne Show. I'm your host, Heidi Thorne, and in this podcast, I share my real-world self-publishing and small business experience with you. Before we get started, I just want to remind you to like, comment, share, follow, and subscribe. Now let's get on with today's show. You've probably seen stories in the news about the post-pandemic global supply chain woes and how it might impact the availability of print books, especially during the holiday season. Here's what you need to know about the current supply chain issues and what it means for self-publishing. First of all, let's clarify what is a supply chain. Briefly, a supply chain is all materials and services that go into creating and delivering products and services. For print books, that includes a host of entities, including paper mills, ink manufacturers, printing companies, advertising platforms, warehouses, stores, labor, and shipping. For ebooks, it includes software providers, computer servers, internet services, e readers and apps, and selling platforms such as Amazon. But those lists are just a few of the players. Behind every single entity, and step in the process, there could be layers of supply chain entities of which we're not aware. Take Amazon, for example. Behind that platform is an army of people, places, products, and processes that go into delivering goods and services to customers. A disruption at any step can bring down an entire chain. So what are the supply chain concerns for publishing? The coronavirus pandemic threw the publishing industry into a tailspin. Here's just a quick overview of the issues that are currently plaguing publishing and may continue going forward. Labor shortages drive up labor costs, as well as stall print production and shipment. It also costs more to warehouse and ship, and it takes longer to receive book stock due to truck driver shortages. The need for home or remote schooling books and materials during the height of the pandemic and beyond, as well as people wanting print books during the pandemic while they were at home, has been driving an increase in print book sales. That's typically good news for the publishing industry. However, that increases the demand for paper, ink, allied materials, and manufacturing capacity. Capacity. There also has been consolidation and closures within the printing and printing supply industries, too. Fewer suppliers and reduced supply mean higher prices all around. With the pandemic seeing more and more people shopping online and opting for home delivery, the demand for shipping boxes and materials has further increased the demand for paper, cardboard, ink, and other materials. So this is even more pressure on the printing supply chain and therefore the publishing supply chain. For the holiday 2021 shopping season, the concern is over not having enough print books to supply reopened bookstores. However, those holiday orders are probably already in the works with supply just waiting to be shipped. If the demand for more stock or more titles increases in the interim, there will be shortages on the shelves. This is a problem for brick and mortar bookstores who struggled to be open during the pandemic, but who now may experience low sales by not having enough stock to meet demand. Then there's the specter of higher prices looming, due to all of this, which could impact sales too. It's important to note that some of these issues are not just pandemic related. Labor shortages, particularly in trucking, have been increasing. Many people don't want to drive a truck because it's grueling work and it has a lot of responsibility. Shipping and warehousing technologies such as robot trucks and the infrastructure that supports them are not yet mature enough to handle the entire load of work. The preference for print books, particularly during the pandemic, is puzzling to me. Audiobooks and ebooks offer convenient, immediate, and no contact content delivery. Although audiobooks are experiencing increased consumption 
during the pandemic, before the pandemic, and after the pandemic, text-based ebooks still have low adoption, pandemic or not. Are we still in an early adoption phase for ebook technology? What causes readers to still cling to print? For some, it's the opportunity to unplug from devices. Print books also engage multiple senses, which is why readers prefer them. Print books can still be read even when electronic technologies become unavailable or obsolete. How does this affect self-publishing, or does it? Since it is very unlikely that self-published print books will be inventoried in brick-and-mortar bookstores, these global supply chain issues don't even apply to most self-published authors. Actually, it's a great time to be a self-published author because you can sidestep many of the supply chain concerns that plague the traditional publishing and book retailing players. With readers penchant for print, authors who self-publish on Kindle Direct Publishing or KDP can emphasize that their print books are printed as ordered and shipped from an Amazon facility that is closest to the customer, reducing the time and expense of delivery. But the paper and ink shortages and increased prices for materials will increase printing costs even on KDP. This can reduce the print royalties you receive. I'd recommend spot checking your print costs on KDP occasionally. Your printing costs and net royalties are shown on the pricing page for each of your print book titles on KDP. And then adjust the prices as needed to protect your royalty payouts. Of course, authors who self-publish Kindle eBooks and Audible audiobooks through ACX have zero supply chain uh, and shipping and material concerns. No reader disappointment that a book will be out of stock at a store. Kindle eBooks and Audible audiobooks can be delivered immediately to the reader or can be shipped electronically as gifts with zero shipping cost. The only concern would be if Amazon goes down. Is that likely in the near term? No, but it is something to think about. And I did talk about that in another video, so do check that out. I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, please rate, review, and subscribe to The Heidi Thorne Show on whatever podcast app you like to use. I'm on all the major ones, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher. Just pick your favorite, I'm probably there. If you like the YouTube video better, you just have to subscribe to my Heidi Thorne YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell so that you get an alert when a new video is up. I would appreciate it if you would share the Heidi Thorne Show audio or video with your friends on social media. My self-published books are available on Amazon, Audible, and Apple Books. All you have to do is go to one of those sites, type in my name, Heidi Thorne, and my author page will come up with a list of all available titles. If you'd like to connect with me, my website is HeidiThorne.com, and I'm most active on the social channels of Instagram and TikTok at, at Heidi Thorne. Thank you so much for listening and for your support. I'll look forward to talking with you again in the next episode, and in the meantime, have a great day.